We do not so. Greater is Frank's words. But when all your sons are either dead or cockless, it makes it easier to follow such things. The Greyjoys are one of the main houses of Westeros, and alongside the Starks, the Lannisters, and the Baratheons, they own a large amount of land. They are situated on the Iron Islands, and have been there since Aegon the Conqueror took over Westeros. Now the Greyjoy history is one that is rather interesting indeed, because they share so many similarities with other kind of groups of people. Uh, the Wildlings, in the Night's Watch episode we did, they had many kind of failed uprisings, many failed attacks, and much like that, the Greyjoys have many failed attacks against the throne. They were trying to usurp the throne and fail nearly every time. And because of this, they are seen as miners in the eyes of the mainland, and they are almost outcasts in more ways than one. They are um, they're cold, foreboding, and are about as hardy as the island they live on itself. Now because of the failed uprisings and because they are treated so badly, now because of all the failed uprisings and the fact that they are treated as sort of second class citizens, the main characters of this household are quite cold and corrupted. Take Balon for example, he has hatred for his son Theon because he was given to the Starks as a kind of squire of sorts. So he thinks that the Starks have corrupt him, have made him at something that the Iron Islands would not want anything to do with, made him a Stark basically. And because of this relationship, Theon has equal hatred for his father because of the same reasons, because his father gave him up after the failed rebellion, and um, because his brothers died because of that failed rebellion. And at Yara, Yara is the, the only younger member of House Greyjoy, and uh, because she's a female, she's uh, kind of picked on, but she has a fleet of her own, and she was the kind of, because she was the only younger, or the only child of Balon Greyjoy, she has great power over Theon. Now House Greyjoy is said to descend from the Grey King and uh, he was a legendary figure from the Age of Heroes and apparently he took down the Sea Dragon Nog with the help of the Drowned God and when he killed him he made his halls, his great halls, out of its bones and it was heated by its living fire. Now it's probably not true, it's probably just one of those kind of legends that all the houses are kind of based upon but still it's a big part of their religion and their religion has to do with the Drowned God as well so it kind of links in with that. Uh, it has a lot to do with the sea, a lot to do with the ocean, because they are an island that's surrounded by ocean. Now when Aegon I conquered Westeros, he extinguished House Hua, who were the main power in the Iron Islands. They were tyrants in the eyes of the villagers, they were horrible, but what they did got the job done, because when House Hua was in charge of the Iron Islands, they were at the peak of power, and they had the biggest population, uh, the biggest army that they had had, the biggest naval army that they had had. But um, Aegon killed them, and after that, he, he gave them a sort of diplomatic solution. He let the villagers, the Ironborn, choose who they want to be in charge, and they chose the Greyjoys. And um, specifically, they chose Victor. Now, the Riverlands were given to House Tully, and the Iron Islands to Victor and his line. And ever since this decision, the Greyjoys have ruled over the Iron Islands from their castle Pike. After Robert's Rebellion, the Greyjoys went downhill in terms of respect and power. They would keep to themselves, they wouldn't go to any attorneys, and they certainly wouldn't even contact the mainland unless they had to. And this is the time, after Robert's Rebellion, when they started doing most of their raids. Now six years after Robert's Rebellion, the Greyjoys has a, had a rebellion of their own. They decided that they would be the true kings, and Balon declared himself the king of the Iron Islands, and he went up to the Red Keep to try and kill Robert Baratheon and the Baratheon household, but he was defeated almost instantly. He didn't know how many people there were because he had never been in land. He, he, he didn't expect that many people and that much power to be there. And when he went there, his two sons were killed, and that was Roderick and uh, Marin. And Theon was with him. But Theon wasn't killed. He was given to House Stark as a sort of squire, as a sort of hostage, and that was that was Balon's punishment for trying to rise up against the king at the time. And they were also sworn to Brooklyn. They were also forced to swear fealty to House Baratheon, which was almost a leak of salt in the wound. And he had to retreat to the Iron Islands with his only remaining child, who was Yara. Now, after the uprising, most of the Greyjoys went downhill. They were scattered, and this was partially due to Balon exiling his brother Euron. And this was because Euron raped his brother's wife. And he was banished from the Iron Islands. I don't know where he was sent. He was sent somewhere in the ocean told to just go wherever um, and his other brother Aaron was pushed off a boat when he was trying to take over some village and uh, because of that experience he became a priest of the crown god and couldn't hold any kind of air uh, he couldn't really have a children he was just a priest of that religion forever 